What's going on with gamers? Here we are back with some more Elden Ring and today I'm going to be going over how you can get your hands on the Fire Scorpion Charm. So if you need up your game with fire and you want a little bit of extra damage then hopefully this is the item for you. Welcome back all you guys and girls as always for things gaming for things Xbox then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon. I bring you all the latest and greatest content, hints, tips, guides and builds and just some fun gameplay and reviews of upcoming games. But for today I'm here to show you the location of something that you'll definitely want if you're trying to up the damage of your fire build. So where you're going to want to head to will be this location just over here. Now I tried to make it from a few locations, mainly the Road of Iniquity and Volcano Manor that didn't work in the slightest, it's actually this spot right over here, the Erd Tree Gazing Hill that you're going to want to travel to. From here make sure you're facing in this direction, then make your way up this rocky part here. Travel straight across the water of the Wyndham Ruins, making sure you avoid the Tibia Mariner if you haven't taken them out. And you're just going to be making your way through, jumping off and collecting the graces as you go. So this one here is the Seafalter River Grace Point. Jump on your steed again and just head off in this direction. Now at this point there are quite a few things on the floor that can give you a bad time but ultimately they don't actually hurt too much which I'll test out in a second so even if you do accidentally go into one of them it's not going to be the end of you it's just going to do a little bit of damage to your horse. And as you can see here it's 692. So unless you're really really unlucky and trying to go into all of them, you should be okay at avoiding them even if you accidentally go into a couple of them. So the grace point that we're after is this one just here. And that's the Seafalter Terminus. Now we're just going to make it straight over to the fault. So what you're going to want to do is to make it into this fort just over here. We'll be unlocking it as we go. Travel round, move slightly to the right hand side and up this staircase. Now once inside you have made it to Fort Layed. You can take this fella out if you want to, I believe he does reward you with that hammer if I remember correctly or you can just make your way up the staircase and just make your way straight through. Just over here there is an armourer's cookbook if you want to grab that up while you're here and probably do a better job than me at getting stuck on all of the furniture. Now just up at the top here, if you have a look just in the middle there, there is a slight crack in the wall that you can make it over. Nice and easy, we've made it to the location we needed in order to pick up the Fire Scorpion Charm. So a talisman carried by assassins who strike unseen. Raises fire attack power but lowers damage negation. Now this is an absolutely amazing talisman or charm whatever you want to call it for any fire build but please be aware it does lower your negation a little bit if I show you here it does make your stats go down quite a bit so be mindful of that as you will get hit a little bit harder from any kind of physical attack so versus your strike slash or pierce but ultimately if you're trying to build revolving around fire especially if it's long range this may well be something you want to invest in. As always gamers, 4 Things Gaming, 4 Things Xbox. Take care, I'll see you on the next day.